Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about the newest launch from Odinzai and it is a collaboration part two with Angelica Nyquist and it is Halloween themed and I'm going to be showing you all the products. I'm going to create two looks with each of the palettes. I'm going to show you lip swatches of all the lip products. Yes, there's lip products, some new formulas to Odinzai and this collection is limited edition and it's launching September 20th, which is Wednesday. I don't know the time or the pricing yet, so I'll put it down in the description box once I learn all that information and I will set this collection in PR from Odinzai so thank you so much for sending it over to me and congratulations to Angelica on Odin's Eye on a, another collaboration. So let's get right into the products. It is a Hella theme, but Hella make it Halloween. So it does have similar artwork to their first collaboration. So first up is the Trick or Treat palette. And here's what the outer packaging looks like and the color story. Very, very fall kind of color story. There's some really cute imprints in these pens. You got some bats, you got a pumpkin, a spider. This palette screams fall to me. We've got orange, a pop of bright green, and of course some beautiful shimmers in here. Here, and there looks to be a couple of different textures of shimmers so some really really beautiful sparkly shades and some smoother shadows as well and I love that there's two deepening up shade options as well so this is a really cute pumpkin themed color story the second palette in this collection is the little ghost palette and here's what the outside packaging looks like so this one has as you can see a bit more of a blue theme so you can only guess that the inside color story is going to reflect that and it is so so stunning I love me some blues and purples together so I was very Excited to dip into this palette and again some really nice assortment of some shimmer shadows with varying textures in them there is a really beautiful blue pink purple duochrome multi-chrome called boo in here which you know i had to use it does remind me of a couple of shades that i've seen recently it's just such a stunning shade honestly if i could i would just bathe in it like it's so beautiful so next up are the lip products i've only actually tried the bullet lipsticks from odin's eye so i was really really excited to see these and i absolutely love the packaging these came in as well as the component i absolutely love gradients especially on packaging like this and I love that the entire tube is that color you can see the shades on the bottom so the sticker is the shade of the lipstick more or less it's pretty accurate I would say so there are three glosses and two mattes the mattes are very similar to the lip clays from Kaleidos so I think if you really like those which I absolutely love those those are probably one of my most top top lip formulas of all time I constantly put those in my work bag these tones are totally up my alley I love me some orangey lips as well as some more kind of mauvey almost grayish tone but specifically speaking quicksand and I also love spectral this collection is limited edition as I mentioned so I don't know if this is kind of like their try on to see if they want to launch more of these formulas part of a regular collection from them and if so then definitely I'm here for it I've already been wearing these lip products and I'm very much enjoying them and Angelica did an amazing job choosing these shades because I think they're really nice range for the two different formulas that are featured there's also these two little cute fluffy guys I'm not sure if these are going to be offered as a set only or if you can buy them separately but they're just little clip-ons that you can put and clip onto a backpack or something so there's a little ghost and then here's a little fluffy bat so so cute so let's get right into four looks two looks with each palette and then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video um, I'm gonna be starting out with the trick-or-treat palette I'm starting out with Howl right in the crease this beautiful mustard shade and then I'm bringing Candy Apple into that. And just slowly blending it up into Howl. I'm going to take Goblin onto the outer corner to deepen this up a bit. And then I'm going to dip back into Howl. And just use that to blend this out further on this outer corner. I'm also taking Goblin just a little bit underneath my lower lash line. And then a little bit of Candy Apple. Just kind of mixing it together. And then I'm going to go back in with this blending brush and just really feather that out. Picked up Full Moon and I'm going to create a fall half cut crease up here that is so shiny. Oh, it's got a lot of sparkle to it too. And just taking that in here. And then for the rest of the lash, I'm going to go in with Trick or Treat. And I'm going to miss my brush again a little bit with just some water and I'm taking that on an angle on the rest 
of the center of my lid and a little bit out here just to make sure it's nice and blend it into the outer corner. These are so pretty together. And I'm taking Mummy's Curse onto the inner corner. This one has so many different colorful flex throughout it. It's so pretty. And here's the first finished look. On to the second look, taking Poison right into the crease. Just taking it all the way here and then on to the outer portion as well. Look at this, so pigmented. And it is literally kind of blending itself. I really do enjoy the mattes from Odin's Eye a lot. So pretty. Super vibrant. I'm going to take Cauldron and just put that onto the lid, on the outer lid and then inner lid. Just going to first packing it on. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush and start to bring it up and blend it up. Just a little bit more over here on the outer corner. And I'm going to start to kind of connect it with the lower lash line as well. I really want to use Witch's Brew so bad. So I'm going to pick that up. It's so vibrant. It feels like a little bit different formula from the rest of these shimmers. It's not as sparkly. It's more like a just really smooth kind of metallic. So I'm really excited to see this on the lid because it is like almost neon. Oh yes, that's so pretty. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up a little bit and then just making sure the edges are blended. And then I think I'm going to layer a little bit because I really want to use Magic Potion. It is just so, so pretty. And I'm going to go in with Magic Potion. This one is just the sparkliest right in the center. I want to try to keep this very contained to just be in this center sliver of my lid. I'm going to bring it up because it's going to end up there anyway. And I'm going to take Cauldron underneath my lower lash line, both on the inner and outer, but just only a little bit on the inner lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Witch's Brew and I'm going to reflect what I basically just did. And I'm going to put it Underneath my little lash line definitely helps to spray it. I think it's a little harder to apply. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I'm going to take actually Magic Potion as my inner corner highlight as well. It's just got that extra sparkle. And here's the second finished look. And on to the two looks with the little ghost palette. I'm going to take candy corn and I'm just going to pop that onto the innermost crease. But I'm not going to take it all the way out here. I'm just going to keep it right here. And then I'm taking Haunted House, which is this beautiful cobalt blue. Oh my goodness, look at that pigmentation. Super easy to use so far. And I'm just going to take this and line my lid with it. And then start kind of feathering out this wing and just take it a little bit underneath as well. And just start to kind of flick this outwards. And going back in just a little bit more. Just thicken it up. But I'm also trying to smudge the edges of that. I'm taking a little bit of my baby Fairy Pixie Poxy and I'm just going to pop it right here. I'm going to be going in with Magical. Now, this shade is definitely more topper-like, and it is very, very, very smooth. And I just really want to get the most sparkle out of it, and that's why I'm using the Tacky Primer. And I'm just going to put that right here as, like, an accent. And this layered over the dark blue, too, will just create a really beautiful effect. I love that. That looks so pretty. I'm just adding a little bit more. Look at that. Take Creepy. I'm going to miss my brush because it is a little bit more on the kind of, I don't want to say flaky side, but I just want to make sure that it 
picks up and puts down really nicely with the least amount of fallout. So I'm just going in and layering that on. And that looks absolutely spectacular over that dark blue. It literally looks like you're looking up at the night sky. Because there's so many flecks of like sparkle in there. Just magical. And I want to use cobweb as an inner corner kind of highlight. Now this shade is very, very satin. Which is not really usually my style. But I think it's a nice subtle kind of highlighter. And here's the finished look with the little ghost palette. Onto the second look, I'm going in with Little Ghost. And I'm just putting that right into the crease. And really just first kind of laying it down. And then I'm actually going to use the neon on the edges of that. Taking Banana Taffy. This one seems like a drier formula compared to some of these other shades. And then I'm gonna go back in with Little Ghost. And I'm just gonna slowly create that blend in between these two shades. It's looking a little wonky, but it just takes a little bit of blending. And then going back in with a little bit of Banana Taffy. Just in the edge there. And back in with a little ghost, just really working it into the crease. And then I'm going to take a licorice onto the outer corner to deepen it up. Beautiful, beautiful kind of shade, kind of like an aubergine, which I love these kinds of shades. I'm going to take banana taffy on the outer corner again here. And I'm going to bring it underneath my little lash line to connect with my outer corner. And then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to whip it off and then go in with banana taffy and really just put it on the outer edge. And then I know it looks a little crazy right now, but we're going to going to blend it. Okay, this yellow is not my favorite. It's just really thin, so it's just really has a tendency to blend away. I almost think I should have maybe went in it in with it first. So I'm just really trying to kind of stamp it in. And then I really want to use Boo because I mean look at this. I love these kinds of shadows. It reminds me of Thusa uh, from Davina and uh, Virtual Pink from Glam Shop. So I'm just putting that right onto the lid. Oh, that's so, so pretty. So pretty. I definitely think I could get it a little bit more opaque if I used a tacky primer, but this gives just like that sparkle. You could absolutely just get the most ethereal kind of look with this because it is so topper-like. I'm just gonna go in and tap on a little bit more. And I'm going to take Ghoulish underneath the rest of my little lash line. And then maybe a little bit of Haunted to just kind of smudge into it. Here's the second finished look. I really, I really enjoyed creating all those looks and I did create this one look with the little ghost palette off camera. I just wanted to play with it a little bit more and really dip into the blues and purples. And my recommendation would be that if you can't pick up both palettes, I would recommend this one just also personally because I do prefer the color story just a little bit more because I love, love blues and purples in a palette and then pinks and peaches too. Like this is such a beautiful color story. I think there's such a variety of looks that you could create with this palette. You could also do some more neutral looks with especially the bottom row. A couple of the shimmers are a little bit harder pressed in here. So I would definitely recommend using a brush, which they do pick up totally fine with a brush. And that would be Cobweb and Magical. They're just a little bit more like on a smoother formula, but I use these with a brush and they pick up and lay down really, really nicely. I really enjoy Odin's Eye Mattes. They're such a beautiful formula. They 
they really blend easily, they layer easily. I think Banana Taffy is a little bit on the thinner side and I think it's just because of just how vivid and bright it is. So it's a shadow that you might wanna really tap in more than blend. And then let's talk about the Trick or Treat palette. Again, this color story is very, very fall, very pumpkin. And again, we have an assortment of different textures of shimmer shadows. So Witch's Brew and Deadly are probably the smoothest ones out of all of these. And they do feel a little bit harder pressed and they do pick up with a brush absolutely beautifully. And then Mummy's Curse, Full Moon, Trick or Treat, Crypt Keeper, and Magic Potion are just so, so sparkly, so special and really beautiful. Witch's Brew is so bright. Like I could just wear this shadow like most days of the week paired with some green mattes. I mean, this shade, I just have to watch it again. It's so, so beautiful. If you're a warm tone and green lover, you will definitely enjoy this palette. So it really is a matter of preference. If you just want to pick up one of the palettes, which color story speaks to you the most? Which do you prefer? What colors you prefer to wear? So let's talk about the lip products. I love the glosses. The glosses feel absolutely luxurious. I have it on right now. It's really nice and slippy and smooth and not thick. And I love that. It feels moisturizing and they wear really gracefully. And actually for quite a while, like I was drinking with them and all of that. And I felt like I didn't have to reapply and they just look really nice and smooth over the lips. They don't like pull into lip lines or anything like that. So love this formula. We'll have to see more shades from Odin's Eye. I really, really hope that they end up launching like, a whole set of shades in this formula. And then the lip creams, as I mentioned, they're very, very similar to the lip clay formula. I think if anything from using these on the lips it feels a little bit on like a thicker kind of formula so same finish as the lip clays it spreads across the lips a little bit differently but again love these love to see more i was definitely not expecting a halloween themed collection from odin's eye as i know halloween is a very common in here in the u.s but no one really celebrates it outside of the u.s i think it's just such a fun theme to play off of there's honestly so many beautiful color stories to be made in the halloween themed and i love to see halloween palettes give me all the halloween palettes i know that there's a ton of people that are very very excited especially for fall because of the fall themed and the halloween themed eyeshadow palettes so this is a perfect time for this collection so again congratulations to odin zion and angelica on this collaboration let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite do you plan on picking anything up i'd love to hear your thoughts and that's everything for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching i hope to see you next time